welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking about the eight major Epic benefits or working for Epic. So I hope you're ready for this because it's a good one. Oh my god, the whole thing is shaking. Okay, let's get to it. So number one, when working with Epic, you get something called a settlement allowance and that's pretty self-explanatory. Settlement allowance is to help you settle in Korea and your new apartment and they give you 300,000 Korean won for it. So I'm going to put the USD on the bottom, so don't worry about it. But yeah, they give you 300,000 won and literally this is just so you can buy like pots and pans and like whatever you need for your home. Um, your new place because sometimes the people that the person that used to live in your apartment will leave you their stuff and sometimes they like sell it so they you literally come in with none of that um, so yeah that's one thing the first thing you get okay so number two is the accommodation which pretty much is an apartment so you get a free apartment with uh, a bed, a desk, TV, microwave, and like, yeah, just the necessities. So, some people get like a bigger apartment, but unfortunately in this area, it's all small apartments and yeah. So, but it is nice because you don't have to pay rent. I've already mentioned this in my previous videos, but you don't have to pay rent and it's kind of nice because like it helps you save um, yeah so that's even though it's not like so great and it's not like what you're used to it's still an accommodation and you don't have to pay for it so yeah that's number two number three is entrance allowance so for entering the country I don't know how else to say it like I really think it's just like for like it says entrance allowance or so just coming here you get uh, 1.3 mil, which is insane because it's literally just free money. All this I feel like is just free money because this is all on top of your pay. You still make the regular amount of money that you would make every month and this is just bonus on top of that. So all this is free money, that's how I see it. So you, you get your entrance allowance 1.3 mil and for this, some places they get it the first month, and other places, like Busan, I myself got it six months later. So I got it in August, right after my summer vacation. So yeah, it, honestly, it's not like you, you shouldn't be broke, because you'd be making money every month. It's just like an additional money. So like... I don't, I didn't really care when they gave me as long as they gave it to me and it didn't really make a big difference. But yeah, just so you know that some places get it the first month and some get it the sixth month. Uh, number four is a contract completion and for contract completion you also get 1.3 mil. So guys, also I'm looking at my notes here and I also have the epic... Um, website for reference and I will link that below too if you'd like to go see it but number four is a contract completion so for simply completing your contract your full year you get 1.3 mil and um, this is because there is something called midnight runners and midnight, midnight runners are just pretty much people that um, for any reason like some could be like because they have a family emergency emergency back home some um, generally just cannot like live here they didn't expect it to be this way um, like some people never really left the country so coming here for a year could be overwhelming and yeah so for all these reasons people tend to break their contract and leave so if that's the case then you obviously don't get any money any like uh, contract completion, but I guess this money kind of motivates people like oh I can push through and get my 1.3 mil. I, for some people it's worth it. Um, 
so yeah, that's number four. Um, number five is Servants Day, which I think it also happens. Does that happen in America as well? Yeah, some corporate companies. Yeah, some corporate companies do it as well, um, and in Korea as well. But yeah, this is pretty much just um, your one month's worth salary. Am I right? Yeah, it's a yes. month of your So it's a month of your salary. So whenever you're leaving, um, they give you one month worth salary. They literally just hand it to you. Here, free money. Yeah, so that's simple. I feel like, you know, it happens in many different places. So that's, yeah, that's great. And then number six is renewal, contract renewal bonus, which is 700,001. And so this is just for deciding if you want to renew your contract or not. So if you decide you want to renew your contract, you don't have to reapply, but there are some forms and paperwork that you have to do and submit it to the school, the board of education, school of education. The Board of Education. The Board of Education. Yeah, whatever those people are. You submit it to them, and they, um, on top of that, um, there are surveys that teachers and other teachers, principals, and students take, and they pretty much kind of like rate you, and they also send that to the Board of Education, and with all that information, they decide whether they hire you again or not. So from I've not been here a year yet, but from my understanding, um, it is easier for them to like rehire you than hire someone new because first of all, like they'll have to go through the process and documentation like all over again, and that's just too much hassle. And it's also cheaper for them because you don't have to. Uh, they don't have to pay you settlement allowance on this case because you've already settled. Settlement allowance is just a one-time thing, just when you first arrive. So it definitely makes for it to be, unless you're a really bad teacher, unless like your rating from your principal and stuff wasn't great, then maybe they will not rehire you. But yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, so yeah, that was number six. That was renewal bonus. And number seven is medical insurance. So for medical insurance, um, medical in general, at least compared to the United States, is pretty cheap here. And on top of that, your employer pays 50% of your um, insurance. Your, yeah, your insurance. Um, so I don't know if you've seen my last video, which was on uh, school's birthday. I had it off and I went to get my eyes checked and I got two different uh, um, eye tests for like glasses and contacts and I got my glasses and I'm ordering my contacts and all of that cost 40 USD which was so great because I was in America's Best in America and they suck Pretty yeah thick. it caused me like 170 to just get the eye test and like get my glasses and I had to wait a week to get my glasses and when I ordered contacts on top of that, it was close to like 300. It was bad. But anyway, this is great. And also, if you're coming with a spouse, like if you have a husband or wife that you're coming with, they also cover their medical insurance. I came with my husband, he's my dependent, but they cover his, they pay 50% of his insurance as well which is so nice because then we don't have to worry about like him not having insurance and all that. They cover you and it's great. And last one is number eight, orientation. So Epic provides orientation for you. So when you come, you don't go straight to like work or you don't go straight to your apartment. You go to a orientation that's held by Epic. It's at a university. You get dorm room assigned to you. It's for one week. You get uh, three meals. At the cafeteria you use the classrooms uh, for like lecture and the lectures are about like Korean culture Korean history um, you talk about like just the education aspect of it they help you like lesson plan and you get a partner assigned to you you lesson plan together and you do a presentation and they give you feedback which is so great and um, they they had a day where they would take you on a field trip um, to show you like the Korean culture. We made like Korean snacks and stuff like that. It's awesome. I actually have some a lot of footage from orientation So I'll try to 
combine it together and make a whole video about it because I know orientation should be coming like soon, a few months. So, whew, that was a lot of talking. So yeah, so these are some of the major epic benefits and I absolutely love it. It's pretty much free money and it definitely adds up too. So like when you leave, you leave with fat check. Fat, fat check. Um, and on top of that, if you have been saving throughout the year, you, you're you set for a whole year to just be a bum in America. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, but yeah, so these are all of them. I hope that this video was... I, I'm sorry, I'm talking really fast because I have like two minutes left on my um, storage on my camera. So yeah, I hope that this was informational. I hope that... I have one minute left. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope that this was inform informational. I hope that you like it. And if you have any questions, please comment below. I, I'm usually like, I will usually check it and I try to answer. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can also DM me on that. You can email me. My email is on my Instagram. But. Yeah, I'm going to link the Epic website here, so if you want to check for details, and what else do I need to link below? I don't know, we'll find out. But anyway, so um, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. I hope that you enjoyed this video, I hope that you have a great day. How many minutes do I have, or seconds? I have 15 seconds. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all for today. Um, see you in my next video. Bye. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.